Hey guys, welcome back to Tony's Auto. So in this video, I'll be showing you how to rent a car with Uber. But before we start, hurry up and check out any software just under this video. So let's get started. In this case, to rent a car with Uber, it's actually pretty easy. But the uh, feature itself or the service itself is dependent on where you're currently at. So currently, it is not yet available on, sorry, on, on all regions. But if you're living in the US, then most likely you should be able to use this service here. So go ahead and open up Uber. And from the home screen, you should be able to actually see this screen here. So in this case, in the suggestion section, you should be able to see the rental car section there. But if you don't see it, you could go ahead and click on the services at the very bottom of your screen. You should be able to see rental cars or the service itself. So let's go ahead and click on it. Now, from here, it should redirect you to this page here, which in this case allows you to change a few things. Like, for example, the date that you want to rent the car and the driver's main age here. So, in this case, you could go ahead and specify those details, but once you've done that, you could go ahead and click on Find Cars. Now, on the next page, you now have the option to search for cars that you want to actually rent. So, you could also change a few things like uh, by changing the top options here. Like, for example, the sort itself, if you want to change the deal itself, if you want to uh, uh, basically search for small cars or large cars, you could go ahead and do that. But in this case, so once you've done the uh, filters here, you could go ahead and search or click on the car that you want to rent. Now, from here, it should give you the car details and how many seats, how many bags, and how many doors, and if it's actually automatic. So it should show you the actual price itself, so the daily price for it. But if you want to go ahead and proceed with the car rental, you go ahead and click on continue. And from then on, you should be able to start paying for that rental. And from then on, you should be good. And that's about it. So if you found this video helpful, hit the like and subscribe button and watch our next video.